the man known as the Octopus, one of the most vicious criminals of all time. In an effort to stamp out the rising wave of crime, Police Commissioner Kirk has enlisted the aid of Richard Wentworth, famous criminologist. The spider, Richard Wentworth's other self, leaps into the bitterly fought battle. His guns trained mercilessly on the forces of the Octopus. to prevent the attack. Finding himself trapped on a narrow window ledge, he was struck by a giant rock and tackled. and he upset our plans. Spider. Boss ain't gonna like that. Come on inside. Turn that car around. I might have to get out of here in a hurry. First, the spider busts up the terminal party. Then when we go after the newspaper, he knocks us over. Between the spider and Wentworth, the octopus is fighting tough odds. Wentworth won't bother us. We got his man Jackson with a shot of that firecracker poison. The boss is holding him prisoner someplace. Why, that guy's been unconscious for hours. Report the waterworks on 16th Street to get the layout. The waterworks? Yeah. Octopus has given orders to blow up the works and cut off the water supply. Hmm. Maybe I'd better report to the octopus and get my orders. I promise you that Mr. 
That doesn't sound like Jackson. He'd never ask me to stop fighting crime for his sake. Wait a minute. Hmm. That's not Jackson's regular style. It's written with his left hand. He's warning me to stay away. It's a trap with Jackson as the bait. Well, we know he's alive, though we don't know for how long. I'll get an antidote ready. He may be in a coma when we find him. Put a drop of that snake poison on a slide, will you? Don't! Don't touch that. Why not? There's high explosives in those tubes. We put them there. <laughs> Ram, go and Kirk and tell him to pick up these men. I'll be down at his office soon. Sure, Jenkins. If I'm right, <coughs> if I'm right, this will do the trick. I remember that white paper. I saw it used in Rangoon. 
The poison of the wrinkles cobra. Snake poison, but how? Huh? Well, this particular cobra doesn't bite its victims. It sprays its poison in a vapor. But nothing sprayed this poison, sir. Ah, you're wrong there. The explosion of the firecracker released the gas from a grass vial and sprayed it in areas as far as 12 feet. I hope I can get to Jackson in time to administer this antidote. Commissioner says he'll take care of these men immediately, Sahib. Good. If Nita phones, tell her I'll contact her soon. I'll be at Kirk's office. This is Officer Brooke of Commissioner Kirk's office calling. Mr. Wentworth asked me to call and ask you if you can come down to headquarters immediately. We'll have a taxi call for you. Certainly. I'll be ready in a minute. Thank you. Mr. Wentworth just phoned Graham Singh. I'm to meet him at Commissioner Kirk's office. Are there any messages for him? No, no other messages. Goodbye, ma'am, Sahib. Goodbye. Miss Van Sloan? Yes. Did Mr. Wentworth send you here? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. brings you gentlemen here so early this morning. Well, we all received quite a scare from that bus terminal business. Undoubtedly the octopus again. I understand that the spider did a good job in helping to prevent the massacre of the policemen. Hmm. Newspapers make a hero of him. I'm inclined to agree with the newspapers. As far as the police are concerned, he's still an outlaw. Have you had any word about Jackson? Yes. Uh, where is Jackson? And uh, what about that note from him? Oh, yes. I was just going to tell you about that. I don't know how Jackson got this to me, but I'm going to follow through on it at once. I'm sure with the fine work the police have done, it won't be hard to find Jackson. I have a conference in a half hour, gentlemen. I must be at my desk. You're making progress. Keep up the good work. Commissioner, if I can be of any further help, why, please let me know. Cook, I didn't want to scare those men, but I found out there's going to be an attempt to blow up the city's waterworks tonight. The waterworks? Yes, and that note from Jackson is a trap. But you said you were going to follow through on it. I am. It's the only lead I have. But you can't do it alone. Let me send my men. No, it may be an attempt to draw us away from the waterworks. You've got to detail men to cover those areas. And besides, a raid on the place where they're holding Jackson would be too obvious. In working alone, Kirk, I have one advantage. The octopus doesn't know I'm aware of his trap. I shall step into it deliberately, but prepared. I'll send a squad of men to each water plant immediately. Good. I'll see you later. Wentworth is going to try to rescue Jackson, led on by my note. One of you will be disguised as Jackson. And when Wentworth arrives, we will be ready for him. This time, Richard Wentworth does not escape. Jackson, Has Nita called? Yes, Sahib. She said she was going to meet you at headquarters, that you had called her. At headquarters? I didn't call. got Jackson and Nita now. The spider must strike, even though he steps into the trap of the octopus. As the prophet saith, it taketh more than honey to catch the bee. Wait here until I call. Graham, come with me. We can make the old Gladstone house by dusk. Now listen, everybody. Wentworth will be here any minute. And you, remember, you're supposed to be Jackson stretched out on that couch. Hurry, Ram Singh, step on it. You men stay in guard outside the house to make it look better when one where he gets here. And don't try to shoot it out with him, because he's too fast on the drawer. Let him get into the house. The minute he gets over to that couch, we'll have him.
in the next episode, you'll see Richard Wentworth as Blinky McQuaid finds himself trapped by the paid killers of the octopus. The spider defies death by running up a 60-foot ladder with the police after him. The spider and the octopus face to face. Who is the victor? Who is the octopus? Thank <laughs> you.